Okay, so we're logging the logging active at the bottom of the screen, and we've also got the uh, same thing shown as text that we're recording. I think it's 50 times a second. Uh, logging's off at the moment, so if we want to log with the engine stopped, we have to first of all set the stop engine speed to zero, and then the start engine speed to zero. So change that to zero. Escape. Change that to zero. Escape, and straight away it's gone active. Just leave that logging for a few seconds. And if we want to reverse that, we have to turn off um, active logging by um, first of all reverting the start engine speed to 300 and then going to the stop engine speed back to 100. So set that back to 300. Still logging. Go back to the stop engine speed. Set that back to 100. And it'll now wait five seconds before it drops back down to idle, which is what it's done. And the reason it's five seconds is because there's a setting here that says stop timeout, and that's set to five seconds. So it carries on logging once the engine stopped. Um, if we now go across to the live data, and we'll read the data in. OK. And then F10. It says it's a single file, 32 seconds long. Perfect. I'll just tell it to clear the sessions not clear the logbook. Um, so that basically is how you make the ECU log data without the engine running.